Hi folks, Slick Slices here. Um, well, it was Christmas just recently and um, this is uh, one of the things that I picked up in my Christmas stocking, as it were. Um, not so much Santa, but my daughter and my son-in-law. And this time last year we were just looking forward to their wedding. Now it's we just come up to their first wedding anniversary already. Or at least it's, it's 10 months past anyway. Um, this is what they bought me this year. I know I bought my son-in-law a QSP worker in the past. A very, very sharp knife that um, he immediately cut his thumb open with. Now, I tried very hard not to cut my thumb open this time because this was also quite a sharp little knife. This isn't the worker. This is the Penguin Mini 14C 28N blade down in my carter handle. We open up the little box we find inside um, a couple of stickers QSP that's like a, a wolf holding a QSP blade and have a knife day little penguin with a red hat on and a little card which I'll just bring up there uh, thank you for choosing QSP knife. We hope you enjoy it. Here are some specifications. So it tells us it's 140 millimeters long or five and a half inches with two and a quarter inch blade, 58 millimeters, um, jimping, yan, lanyard hole, uh, 1.06 inches or 27 millimeters wide, a handle of 82 millimeters, 3.25. Um, thumb stud opening in 14c 28n steel that's all the stats dealt with without me having to go and measure them all which is quite nice and uh, guaranteed against work uh, against effects in workmanship and materials for a lifetime for specific read the instructions and if you want to have a look at the website just scan that little qr code and make it a bit bigger for you scan the qr code and then we have a nicely fitted little box and inside that we have the QSP Mini. Now um, the Mini is, is the smallest in the range but it's more expensive than the standard size of uh, that Penguin. I think presumably because this is 14C28N as opposed to D2. Uh, I think that's that would appear to be the main difference because you can get them both in the um, blue in the denim micarta, but the the longer one is about um, three quarters of the price. So I assume that's just down to the steel. Uh, anyway, we've got this nice blue denim micarta. It's quite light in colour, but I think it's darkening already because I've been carrying this ever since Christmas. I put a little lanyard on it because. Um, just for my my dodgy hands, I mean, I'm quite sure there are those of you out there who can flip this thing open without any trouble. But my problem is that I might drop it. So having the lanyard there for catch with those couple of fingers makes it more secure. Now obviously, I'm using my left hand here. Uh, this knife is fully ambidextrous, and once I've done this video, I will turn the hand the the pocket clip round, put it on the other side. Uh, the one thing you can't change though is that the QSP um, sort of posh side to the pivot is always going to be on that side and you can't change that round. But when it comes to changing the hat, the pocket clip, one thing I think I quite, quite like about this is that the clip comes in from the end of the knife there. So obviously you take out those couple of pocket screws, um, you take out the two screws on the other side, swap the clip round to put all the screws back in again but I think you have to swap the screws round as well as the clip because they'll be too long otherwise and too short if you see what I mean um, then um, you can move that clip to the other side it's a very deep carry clip works perfectly well in the UK again the lanyard is useful for pulling it out of out of the pocket uh, if you've got dodgy hands um, as I say this denim Macarta is starting to darken up already. It was almost white when it arrived. Um, it's, it's taken on a, a better colour. Partly that's oil from my hands and partly it's because I put some mineral oil on it. 
um, we've got steel liners and it's a liner lock knife, which, you know, on the one hand, actually, I really like because it's a bit more ambidextrous than a than a frame lock. But um, uh, oops. So it's, it works quite well, I say, as a, as a left-handed for a left-hander as well. Now I'm sure that anybody else could flick it open without any trouble. I believe there's ball bearings in there, so it's, it's got a nice, it's got a pretty, a pretty nice action to it. Um, you know, it's moves nicely. Just wish my hands were a bit, a bit more um, dexterous, but uh, yeah. So it's it's got a a sort of a sheep's foot blade, um, a deep sabre grind, I suppose one would probably call it. There's enough flat here just to make it, it's going to be make it very easy to to sharpen. And there's a nice sharpening choil, and the line from uh, the back of the blade through the plunge to this edge. I don't think the, the um, thumb studs will impinge upon the sharpening stone, so it should be straightforward to sharpen. It would also be quite a good one to sharpen on a flat stone because of that straight one cliff edge and not being too, a uh, straight sheet foot edge and not being too, um, uh, not being too long, you know, even on a relatively small stone, you'd be able to do it in one sweep, not have to worry about getting the belly right and the tip right and everything else. It's just a straightforward flat grind. So that should make it reasonably straightforward to sharpen. Obviously, I haven't sharpened it yet. Uh, I have obviously given it a wee strop because I do that just as a matter of routine, stop it getting dull. But overall, I think it's a really good knife. I actually quite fancy getting one of the larger ones. Um, I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but the length of the blade here, this knife ought to be super UK legal. And, it, and it's the, the liner lock is what lets that down, which is just a little bit of a shame. But, um, you know, it's the sort of knife you could carry in the UK. It's never going to frighten anybody. It's, it's of reasonable size and everything else. But there we are. Now, just for size, I just this is just the standard U, sort of UK lamb's foot, um, an Arthurite one. So you'll see it's oops, rather smaller than a traditional uh, UK knife. So, you know, it ought to be it ought to be fine to carry. For those of you who don't really aren't really familiar with UK knives, this is the Spyderco Dragonfly, which I think is kind of comparable in size. Um, you get a little bit more blade with the QSP because of the finger choil on the Dragonfly, but the Dragonfly is otherwise very slightly um, longer overall. I do like the Dragonfly though. So there we are. This is the QSP Mini Penguin in blue denim micarta with 14C28N uh, um, blade. So thank you very much. If you like this stuff, please give it a wee thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more of these things, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. Thank you very much. Bye.